Reverend Victor Mora Mose. I'm the spiritual director here at ICQ International Hospital. And uh, today we are here in West Pokot County uh, to train the clergymen. That is uh, uh, over 30 pastors who've just come here to be enlightened on how we can integrate the spiritual ministry with the medical treatment that is being uh, offered to the patients that uh, we are sourcing out uh, from this place. And uh, um, just to mention uh, part of the topics that we are handling here is um, uh, we are actually trying to teach them uh, the role of the church uh, towards people living with disability, issues to do with um, you know inclusion and several others like uh, you know trying to talk about the disabilities that we find in the community and it's a very very important uh, um, seminar because we are seeing it going to help the people living with disability in the community these people need the church they need the love of christ and so as we lend our hands together as we put our heads together with the government we want to believe that god is going to enable us to actually impact his kingdom. So we thank God so much for the county governor and of course his leadership team and the rest of the pastors, pastoral team that is actually here with us today, of which we believe that uh, together we are going to achieve great things. So God bless you so much and let's do it this for the glory and honor of God. Amen. Wale ambao wamelete watoto yao kama wale mafu niko na mtoto wangu anaitwa Paul Kalia na ni mle mafu ninashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya watu ya kiwa ambao Mungu aliwatumia kukumbuka watu wale mafu kwa sababu watu wale mafu walikuwa wamekaishwa huko kwa nyumbani hakuna mwenye anawachali lakini ninashukuru Mungu ambao waliwatumia kutafuta watu ambao walikuwa wamesauliwa na ninashukuru Mungu pia kwa maana wameweza kukumbuka hao wenye walikuwa wamefichwa pia wameweza kuwatipu ni wengine wao ambao walikuwa wamesauliwa wametipiwa na wamekuwa sawa sasa hivi wanatembea ninashukuru Mungu pia pia hata kwa wenye wao kwa wanatembea lakini kwa was, wakati wa sasa wamekumbukwa kupewa wheelchairs especially sasa nikiongea kama hivi mtoto wangu ni mmoja ambao amepewa wheelchair hakuwa anaweza kutembea lakini kwa sasa amepewa wheelchair ninashukuru Mungu hayo yote pia ninashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kafan hao watu wenye walikuja wakatumia hata kafan na kuta sasa watu wenye walikuwa wamefichika huko fichichini na wakaweza kupatikana na wameweza kupatikana sana wamepewa usaidizi wao pia ninashukuru Mungu pia kwa wao watu wenye walikuja na wakaweza kupewa hayo na ninaongea kwa wao wenye wako wamefikiwa na wenye wako wamesikia kwamba wakati watasikia wakuje na wapewe hiyo usaidizi pia ninashukuru Mungu pia kwa wale ambao e, wanafikia especially watu ya spiritual watu wenye wanaongea neno la Mungu wafikie wao pia wapate usaidizi ya kiroho kwa sababu hiyo ni ya muhimu nasema Mungu awabariki sana na msidi kutafuta wao wenye wamefichika huko fichichini na hapo penye hawapatikani Mungu awabariki sana na shukuru hata kwa hiyo ofisi penye wameweka hapa kwa county kwamba wafikie watu wenye wako wamefikiwa ninashukuru Mungu hayo yote Mungu awabariki sana nafanya kazi katika kaunti ya West Pokot katika department ya watu wanaoishi na ulemavu tunafanya ushirikiano na Kiu International kusaidia watu wanaoishi na ulemavu na wengi tumewapeleka pale Kijabe kufanyiwa marekebisho na tunashukuru kwa sababu ya hiyo changamoto ambayo tumepata ni kwamba tuna watu wengi wa kupeleka kufanyiwa eh, marekebisho lakini tuna tatizo kwa eh, mashinani kwa wengi wao au wako tayari kuturuhusu tupeleke watoto na serikali inashughulikia transport yao chakula chao na kushughulikia na, na kijabe eh, Q International inafanya upasuaji bure na ikawa ya kwamba watu wetu bado wana ofia ya kwamba labda upasuaji haitakuwa sawa lakini kwa wachache ambao wamesha e, fanyiwa upasuaji tumeona matokeo ni mazuri ndio maana tumeweka e, training ya wachungaji ili waweze kutusaidia pale mashinani kushawishi watu ya kwamba e, watu wanaoishi na ulemavu uh, si vizuri waachiwe wa ishi katika hiyo maisha magumu kuna vile wanaweza saidiwa na waweze ku 
kuendelea na maisha yao vizuri. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru gavana wetu kwa sababu amekuwa mstari wa mbele kutusupport na kuhakikisha kwamba watu ambao wanaishi na ulemavu West Pokot County wameondolewa mateso yao na wanapata usaidizi. Asante tunashukuru Kiwa International kwa ile support wametupatia. Mpaka sasa tuko na watu eh, karibu 145 bado tutapeleka kijabe kwa upasuaji. Nataka kuwaomba wale wananisikia na wale wananiona kutoka mashinani. Tunapowapigia simu mtupatie clients tuwapeleke mushirikiane nasi ili tuweze kusaidia watu, watu wetu. Asante. Dr. Deuri, I come from AIC Kiwa International Hospital in Kijabe and uh, we are very privileged because we have come with a team that has come to participate in a training of pastors here um, to develop a team that will help us to continue sustainably running the clinics for physically disabled children here at West, West Pokot, especially in Kapeguri at the moment. Um, we also have another activity which is a uh, fitting of wheelchairs uh, led by Mary Goretti and uh, that some of these people that are being fitted wheelchairs had been assessed before and they have just come for wheelchair fitting. Um, we are very uh, happy to have the partnership with the West Pokot um, government uh, led by the governor, Professor Omnyanga Puo. Uh, together with the first lady and uh, through that partnership we have had four clinics to date and uh, hopefully next week we will be having another one and also some patients have been able to come to Kijabe for, for treatment and even been able to go back home. We still have quite a lot of them that are remaining to be able to go um, to Kijabe for treatment. We just are very happy because of this partnership and we hope it will continue for many years to come. Thank you.